Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Just got back from church and hanging out with some of my friends. Listen, um, I want to share this scripture with you. And then I'm going to share a little scenario of water. All right. And how it applies to our lives and our situations. Yeah. Here we go. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 24 to 26. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. To the soul that seeketh him, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Now, I'm going to share a little story with you. When I was uh, in the ocean, I got a little tired. I was trying to swim against a riptide. And what ended up happening was I got pulled out so far and I got so tired um, that I decided to lay on my back and float. And as I laid on my back and floated, I decided to swim on my back and swim diagonally over the current to get me closer to the shore. And then after a while, a few waves came and, and just dragged me all the way to the beach, right into where I could stand up and walk out. Now, what I say all that to say is I could have worn myself out trying to swim against the tide. I could have really uh, knocked the wind out of my sails trying to fight the current, trying to fight that riptide. But see, there are times when all you can do is lay on your back and rest in the Lord. And God knows what to send to get you back to shore. God knows how to keep you safe through the turmoil, through the chaos, through the storm, through the turbulence. He knows how to keep you safe. And he knows how to get you through to the safe side where you are no longer in danger. So wait on the Lord. Sometimes it's difficult because we as people, we like to be in control. We like to uh, run things. We want to handle it, don't we? Mm -hmm. So just remember that God knows how to take care of those that belong to him. He knows how to take care of us. And I want you to be encouraged because God is not lost in the storm. You may feel lost, but God is not lost in the storm. I know you wonder why I'm always rubbing my nose. The oxygen that I take when I'm at home, it just keeps my nose running. It's really hard to get used to that. Now, what I want to tell you is a story when I was about four years old. My father was sitting on the edge of the beach, you know, right where the water came. And he was reading the newspaper. And he told me, he says, now, when you get to into the water, he walked me over to the water. Don't go out any further than this. You stay on this side of the rock where I can see you because the waves are too strong for you. You're too small to battle these waves and they can knock you down and drag you further out and you could drown. So you stay really close to this stone, to this rock. It was a big boulder on my left. Now, as I'm telling you this, I'm getting revelation myself. So it's really comical how God communicates with us. So I stayed real close to the rock but I wanted to go out deeper. So, um, but, but I stayed, I stayed close to the rock. I was obedient and a bigger wave came than what I expected. And it knocked me down and it pulled me back further away from the rock in a deeper portion of the water. My father looks up now at that point, 
I'm under. Now the water's too deep for me. And the best I could do, God gave me the instinct to raise my hand up in the air so that my father could at least see where I was. And I kept my arm up above the water. I couldn't get any higher. I didn't know how to pull my head up. All I could do was stand on my feet, try to stay in a standing position in all that water and keep my hand up. My father told me had I not kept my hand up, he might never have found me. God will instinctively tell you what to do. As a child, who would have thought of that? But the fact is, his landmark was that boulder. He knew exactly where to look. And when I was no longer in view except for my hand, he knew I was in trouble. He jumped up, ran in the water with his pants and everything. <laughs> he got all wet, got his pants wet. And he grabbed my hand. I felt his hand grab my hand. And he pulled me up out of the water. I went flying in the air. And I tell you, what I love about that story is that is what God does. Did he not do that for Peter? Remember when Peter said, Lord, if it, if it be you, bid me come. And Jesus said, come. And Peter climbed out of that boat and walked on water. God can enable you to walk on water. And should you get caught up in the situation, should you become uh, fearful and you get intimidated by the waves, the wind, the roar, the, the intensity of the storm, all you got to do is say, Lord, save me. You're fine. So don't let these situations cause your knees to knock cause you to hit the panic button. Panic kills. You do not want to panic. Your safest thing is to stay close to the rock of our salvation. Keep your hand up in praise and worship. Call on God. Seek the Lord while he may be found. And you're fine. It may not seem like it now, but you're in safe hands, baby. You're in good hands. God knows how to take care of you. Even when the winds and the waves are raging all around, you are okay. And you're safe because you got the right one on your side. God bless you.